Well, it is Carl Pendred who is victorious. And he'll be having a chat with Josh. I'm here with our winner, Carl Pendred. Carl, career best performance against David Belkaden, and then a fantastic display against, uh, against a, a huge fighter in Bruno Carvalho. Tell us how you're feeling. Um, I feel great. I would have liked to have stopped him, but uh, he was a tough, tough guy. He's probably the second best welterweight in Europe inside the UFC, and uh, I'm the best. I, uh, I went over to France there recently to ask Elgar Mo for his belt. I asked to fight him, but he, uh, he saw me turn and ran, left his belt there, so I took it off him. <laughs> so I, I, I took this belt and I said the winner of this fight would be the welterweight champion. Well, I'm sure that'll be a fight we, we would potentially like to see in the future. If we can just go back to that second round, he had you very deep in a triangle, then an armbar. Tell us what you had to do to grit your teeth and get through that, because it was a lot of pressure from Bruno Carvalho. I didn't have to do anything, I just... Uh, there was no way it was happening. It, it was sore, but he has to put me to sleep if he wants me to, to submit me, so... Uh, I was just waiting there. I knew he'd give up on it at some stage, and he did. John Kavanagh's not here in your corner tonight. He's over at a training camp in Iceland. I'm sure those guys are watching your whole team back in Ireland at SBG. Tell us about your partners. Yeah, there's too many to name, but thanks to all the guys in SPG Longwell Road, Mjolnir in Iceland, and uh, John Kavanagh, all the coaches in the Irish Strength Institute, and David Mullins from Conquer Mental Skills, all the guys who look after me. Thanks, guys. Coco, Coco Vida as well, and Big Shot Sports. So, uh, sports supplements. Well, Carl, I'll let you go and get a, a very well-earned drink after your performance in our main event here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Carl, the Punisher, Pendred.